compared to Montreal Protocol to reduce the hydrofluorocarbons is also under serious implementation by the global community. And recently, UNEP, United Nations Environmental Program, uh, has started a global uh, real-time pollution data portal, air quality portal, with 400 uh, stations, both from the governments and citizens, communities, NGOs, private sector, etc., etc. All that data is available globally to see how it compares with the WHO standards. And if you see the situation in uh, North America, uh, except West Coast and East Coast, many of the uh, regions are complying to uh, air quality standards of uh, uh, WHO. Whereas if you go to Europe, you can see the clear distinction between the uh, Western Europe and Eastern Europe uh, in terms of air quality meeting standards. And if you see a, a South Asia and Southeast Asia and China, uh, so there is a mixed, very much uh, mixed uh, response. Very few stations are there which are complying um, close to WMO guideline and one to two times that uh, green also very less uh, on the annual basis. This is the real time. This is today's data uh, uh, brought from the portal. So you can clearly see things are a uh, lot to be improved in these areas compared to other part of the globe, particularly clearly if you see the North, Southeast Asia uh, very much uh, different to other part of uh, uh, the Asia. Briefly touching on the outcomes of 2022 uh, report on United in Science, it clearly says uh, uh, recent years of uh, between 2015 to 2021 were the warmest and greenhouse concentrations are continuously on increase and climate change made extreme heat and floods worse in 2022. Early warning systems have potential to reduce these associated risks in times to come. But remember, only 40% of the countries have these early warning systems in place. Many of the countries don't have. So cities are the major contributions to global emissions and to the air quality degradation. Uh, and they are vulnerable to climate change impacts. We are already seeing in most of the Indian cities and global cities are also impacted very severely due to extremes. So there is a possibility of tipping points uh, to be uh, crossed over uh, in the re immediate past and 93% possibility that between 2022 and 2036 we will have the hottest uh, warming year on record and whatever uh, pledges we have made under uh, uh, Paris Agreement need to be increased at least by seven times to minimize the global warming by 1.5 degrees. Um, uh, by 2100. So that's what is the situation, the assessment made by uh, the WMO and released last week. And it is clearly says that pre-pandemic levels of uh, emissions we have already reached. And clearly, um, uh, it is uh, uh, on uh, increasing path. We have already crossed uh, 1.17 degrees of warming uh, to pre-industrial era and minimum of Arctic ice sea extent and lowest in the Antarctic uh, this year has been released, uh, realized, recorded. So uh, these are some of the uh, worrying issues globally. And in terms of recent five-year warming, you can clearly see India and Southeast Asia Indian Ocean come under moderate warming category compared to uh, uh, mid, uh, Europe, Poles, etc. And in terms of immediate uh, tendencies of warming associated up to 2026, this report clearly says that uh, we are uh, uh, continue to be in moderate warming both in terms of monsoon time and winter time. And in terms of precipitation anomalies, uh, South Asia uh, and Southeast Asia are uh, falling under the category of above normal rainfall scenario 
up to 2026. These are the main findings. Uh, in this particular context, uh, IPCC R6, India, particularly IATM group, Center for Climate Change Research has participated and India's Earth System Model products were part of uh, CMIP-6 and IPCC R6 assessment and our outcomes were very much in line with the other CMIP partners who have participated in uh, IPCC ER6 assessment report 6 assessments. This is the major achievement of uh, uh, India, particularly led by uh, uh, Dr. Krishnan's group of uh, IITM in bringing India to the forefront of IPCC uh, group of assessments. This is a major achievement. And our uh, results of IATM system model and the CMIP-6 models are showing similar uh, identical anomalies of temperature and precipitation and different uh, scenarios of SSPs assessed for uh, ER-6 of IPCC. And if you talk about uh, India's Association for Air Pollution Monitoring, it goes back to decades of 1960. We started with background air pollution monitoring network. It is called the Bachmann network. It was part of the Global Atmospheric Watch. And India had started with 10 stations. All these stations were collecting water samples every month and were sent to chemical um, laboratory Pune uh, to get the acid rain and mineral deposition concentrations from these samples and atmospheric turbidity measurements um, alongside of Bachmann uh, stations uh, were telling us about the aerosol loading into the atmosphere and using sun photometers and this data from 1960s has become a base for identifying current levels of pollution and long-term trends of trace gases and the pollutants in the atmosphere and affecting the environment and climate change today. And Environmental Monitoring and Research uh, uh, Center of IMD, uh, it started measuring uh, columnar uh, ozone starting from 1955, even before the Bachmann measurements, uh, uh, air quality measurement bag started in India. And from 1957, we had from Delhi Sinagar were the first to measure the columnar ozone using Dobson spectrophotometer. And subsequently, it was upgraded to uh, Brewer spectrophotometer. And vertical distribution of ozone through ozone Sundays uh, started from 1971. We are continuing uh, at five locations uh, today, even continuously data is available. And surface ozone measurement uh, uh, started from 1996 from Pune and we are continuing uh, uh, subsequently at uh, seven, eight places as mentioned in this. And if you go to the history, it started from 1973 with uh, uh, turbidity measurements uh, of uh, aerosols and precipitation chemistry. And uh, 2001, we started using uh, multi-wavelength uh, aerosol optical depth measurements. 2005, major change comes in terms of technology, sky radiometers, and building a network of sky radiometers by 2012. And now we have about, uh, uh, along with that, an efflometer and black carbon measurement network fully operational in the country. And most important activity started uh, jointly with the Central Pollution Control Board and Environment Forest and climate change, monitoring uh, uh, emissions at the Mathura refinery, establishing the environmental monitoring unit there. And that is working from 1976 onwards. Bharatpur is also operational. Mathura is operational. And now we had upper air observations for some time. They are not there in that area, but emissions are concentrations are continuously measured. So we were started working and helping uh, uh, environmental impact assessments of environment, forest, and climate change from 1980 onwards. So in terms of uh, monitoring, now we have moved from precipitation chemistry, water samples, and 
sun photometers now we have come to a modern uh, network of uh, aerosol monitoring with the sky radometers black carbon sensors and nephelometers and we are uh, aerosol lidar network uh, and background stations reference stations are there three ozone monitoring network is there and it is a very well distributed network uh, operational apart from that we have started working on um, building air quality models at the EMRC uh, Delhi. I'll go more uh, details subsequently and, and network continuously uh, archiving data uh, and then this is available for research and so much uh, research outcomes have come from these networks of uh, um, sky radiometers, black carbon network, and as well as the nephelometer network. And that is uh, uh, linked to uh, the uh, fog and atmospheric chemistry network stations also uh, blended with this uh, with the help of IATM group. And we are setting up or in the process of setting up uh, a station in uh, uh, Rani Chori with uh, so much of instrumentation and um, with the data of available for past several years monthly concentrations of black carbon are uh, generated and uh, winter summer time monsoon time and post uh, uh, monsoon time concentrations are uh, archived and analyzed very closely changes from one part of the country to another country another part of the country particularly the gangetic plains and coastal areas where the circulation brings the concentrations from monsoon season to winter winter time they are uh, cause of concern and black carbon monitoring uh, with the pm10 and pm2.5 concentrations and their uh, um, relative contributions to overall concentrations on monthly basis are also analyzed and the trajectories which are back uh, backward trajectories which are bringing concentrations through atmospheric transport circulation trans uh, gets uh, helps them to transport from one continent to another continent if you can clearly see the red ones in this trajectory a document um, brings from northwest pakistan punjab crossing over to punjab to delhi about 43 percent of uh, the pm 2.5 uh, transport comes from there and about 38 percent comes from the uh, eastern uh, uh, part of delhi that is from western up and the central part of up and about 10 percent comes from the arabian sea can see uh, all these uh, possible uh, inferences are uh, became possible from the work of EMRC. Now, briefly uh, going to uh, the suffer related activities. First time high resolution 0.4 kilometer scale emission inventory for eight pollutants were prepared by the IATM group for the under suffer program led by Dr. Gurfan Beg, and that has been the monumental work uh, done by uh, IATM group, and that has established real-time air quality forecasting framework for India for Commonwealth Games 2010, and then very uh, detailed uh, to inventory for 2010 was done, and that was uh, upgraded uh, in. Uh, 2018 updated with the further uh, survey and it has clearly brought out that uh, the transport emissions and industry emissions have increased from 2010 to 2018 whereas residential and suspended dust has reduced so transport emissions despite introduction of cng has uh, uh, not reduced from 2010 to 2018 over delhi and different sectors have contributed to the increase except residential and suspended dust in the air 
uh, overall there is a 15% increase in the emission inventory emission quantum over delhi emerged from the two surveys conducted by iitm and in this you can clearly see commercial diesel uh, cars and heavy duty vehicles are the biggest contributors of nox and the carbon uh, pm 2.5 in terms of emission inventory uh, satellite based dust monitoring also becoming possible now and on operational basis india does this and this data goes into a simulation of air quality models so air quality models uh, operational in imd and iitm and ncma wf are dealing with both non local sources and local sources of emissions so safar was the first air quality early warning system implemented so that used observations set up by the safar program itself and the central pollution control board and delhi pollution control committee now the current level of uh, current stage of air quality early warning has two uh, variants one variant is uh, the air quality early warning system of iatm which is based on wrf chemistry uh, built under the collaboration of ncar usa where two models 10 km regional air quality model is run for next 10 days and using that 400 meter very fine scale uh, air quality model uh, for delhi is operated by iatm group and the side by side emrc imd implemented uh, the model of finnish metallurgical institute here 5 km regional forecast model is run and city level street level enfuser model is implemented at about 27 meters very very fine scale for delhi enfuser is operated at 27 meter resolution uh, iatm operates at 400 meter resolution with the help of these two uh, models both at the country scale and the delhi scale and many cities of north india air quality prediction system is operational at uh, awspropmed.ras.in where both the products are available uh, for users for the general public we have one interface for advanced user we have one interface all these systems are operational from 2018 when uh, um, uh national uh, institution minister of environment forest and climate change and uh, air quality prediction city scale to be operated so imd and imd cma wf has implemented the best model and i will show that and iatm has implemented air quality framework by ncar all these ncar systems have become operational from 2000 If you see clearly, these are some of the sample forecasts at the country scale and at the local scale and using the SILA model and Enfuser 27 km 27 km model has a lot of simulation going into that and atmospheric chemistry model has satellite data getting assimilated apart from global inputs. It is driven by the EFS model uh, of 12 kilometers, and then then fire that emission is double burning, double burning from the satellite, and simulation of air quality from the satellite data, and and. and Air quality station, air quality two sixty sites from India is also going from the solely pollution control boards of different states and suffer network etc. And then dynamical downscaling will happen for four hundred meters and assimilation uh, is carried out at that scale with local data emission inventories at four hundred meters because IATM has generated four hundred meter emission inventory uh, under the suffer program updated in two thousand eighteen. and continuously delhi data is getting assimilated and that's how uh, the iatm framework for air quality is implemented and after incorporation of uh, um, crop residue burning uh, biomass burning data from the satellite improvement in air quality assessments over delhi 
has significantly taken place during this time. We can clearly see after inclusion of uh, biomass burning, uh, we could get the peak of uh, increase in Delhi um, following the shovel burning uh, concentrations, biomass concentrations of particulate matter getting transported to Delhi. And clearly that improvement has made uh, to predict the uh, most uh, air quality degradation epochs during the November of 2017, 2019, 2020 uh, in Delhi. And now India is in the process of uh, implementing the decision support system based on this model to regulate the air quality in Delhi. And clearly, MODIS data and the CPCP data uh, inclusion has improved uh, the concentration predictions by uh, the uh, IATM model. And it has not missed a single epoch of uh, extreme air quality degradation starting from 2016 onwards. So far, after the inclusion of uh, um, biomass burning from these fried counts uh, from the satellite information. And if you see uh, the verification of those forecasts, at least up to three days, very high unhealthy conditions of air quality de degradation are able to capture by this system um, between 2019 and 2020 seasons. Only the severe conditions there, this framework is not able to capture. At least up to 300 AQI and above, uh, it is able to capture and the false alarm ratio is very less and the uh, probability of detection is pretty high. So that's how this real-time forecast system of IATM has been used now for verifying and developing decision support system and a lot of information both in visual form, tabular form, graphical form are available uh, to various users for taking uh, emission reduction uh, steps by taking some control measures. And many of the uh, events uh, of 2020, 2018 have been very well captured. And this framework is also used uh, for predicting fog and smog episodes uh, in Delhi and particularly in Delhi airport uh, supporting the um, low visibility conditions of airport operations starting from 2012 to 2020. Uh, this system has helped in improving the um, airport operations during the severe uh, fog conditions uh, level 3 uh, uh, instrument landing systems are operational with, with this information uh, airport uh, operator air traffic controller is able to uh, sustain the uh, airport operations landing and takes off even in low visibility conditions and this uh, has led to success stories of this has led to setting up a test bed for atmospheric chemistry surrounding Delhi uh, even a station is set up in Aysar Mohali by IATM, IMD, joint effort and several uh, instrumentations, uh, uh, observing systems are placed to capture the characteristics, changing characteristics of fog and smog in North India and particularly and air quality early warning system. Now it is operational having SILAM models and as well as uh, atmospheric chemistry model of uh, WRF chemistry of IATM is uh, hosted where uh, details of sources and pollutants and with a lot of uh, verification reports and statistics are presented on site and then several uh, publications are linked and recent times study uh, in uh, recently published 2021 by um, Dr. Bakes Group and IIT Madras, they have come out with the process how the smog uh, intensification is uh, happening locally in Delhi through atmospheric chemistry process. Hydrochloric acid is formed because of excess ammonia coming from uh, uh, solid waste 
dumped in open sites in delhi and and low temperature and high humidity conditions are contributing to um, the development of smog uh, in the uh, delhi apart from the uh, <coughs> predictions made by environmental prediction systems because we are not able to capture the aqi levels of uh, more than 300 very high concentrations uh, severe conditions of uh, uh, air quality and uh, uh, visibility uh, we are not able to capture reason for that is this particular atmospheric chemistry process uh, associated with ammonia and now efforts are there to incorporate this understanding into the uh, air quality prediction models now so that we will be able to capture severe uh, visibility and air quality uh, degradation epochs in future perhaps from next year onwards 2022 2023 onwards so this is a major discovery uh, and this paper is uh, published in nature uh, geoscience and then uh, this inventory is invention is going to help us to capture those severe epochs of air quality Along with that, now globally also Copernicus Atmospheric Prediction System is at 25 kilometer grid scale are giving the continental scale transports of greenhouse gases, both carbonaceous and the air quality, um, air pollution uh, species from PM 2.5 and all other um, uh, concentrations, including ozone, carbon monoxide, uh, nitrous oxide etc we have one uh, including uh, uh, radiative aspects associated with the fire counts globally and carbon dioxide carbon monoxide forecast surface ozone forecasts are available at 25 kilometer grid scale and global inventory of uh, uh, greenhouse gases and pollutants has been prepared by at one kilometer grid scale by the copernicus and for the city, if you remember, we have developed at 0.4 uh, uh, kilometer grid scale. And this is very uh, useful global data to force our regional models, uh, uh, city scale models, continental scale models. And this digital data, both in forecast mode and headcast data, is available with EMRC. I call upon uh, active researchers and their uh, student groups to analyze this particular uh, 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 high quantum of data available in terms of understanding this atmospheric chemistry and air quality and associated processes. As we have seen some of the epochs, despite good frameworks and high resolution, we are not able to capture. Dr. Bake's recent study has brought out further insights and several such um, local scale uh, sources and their feedback processes on the air quality degradation uh, linked to atmospheric chemistry got to be investigated and this data uh, is uh, very useful at the global scale and the continental scale right from 2018 uh, both wrf imd data is available for uh, people to use now recently the decision support system based on all these uh, uh, models uh, is made available now the government of india particularly commission for air quality management can control uh, different emission sources of NCR leading to increased uh, um, air quality concentrations and high low visibility conditions in Delhi and they can uh, out of these 25-30 sources of uh, uh, emissions uh, they can close down any of the activities in any of the uh, sources in the NCR region to improve the air quality in Delhi. So that kind of decision support system is operational from IATM group now and this is a major achievement as far as the air quality regulation aspects of uh, improving Delhi conditions despite uh, biomass burning and the transport of dust from the continents and the local emissions, atmospheric chemistry put together. So we have now clearly identified contributions from different sources of NCR and uh, uh, within Delhi and stopping those activities, uh, improvement in air quality can be attempted by the Commission for Air Quality Management.
so there are other um, past studies during the covid time a lot of testing has been done to all these uh, uh, frameworks uh, how uh, um, those uh, uh, activities are contributing and on hourly basis how concentrations of pm 2.5 uh, in delhi is uh, changing uh, with uh, time uh, ahead of time at least 12 hours 24 hours you can clearly assess by this model this is the salem model uh, forecast earlier one was uh, uh, the iitm wrf model forecast and you can clearly see pm 2.5 carbon monoxide simulations happening and this is a dust prediction from the ncmrwf model and uh, aerosol optical depth is also predicted uh, uh, by assimilating the satellite derived aerosol depth into the model uh, uh, regional model four kilometer model of ncmrwf and ventilation coefficients from gfs model are computed air quality index is regularly computed and compared with the predictions of PM1, PM2.5, and PM10 for different years and their averages of uh, nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, and uh, ozone, etc., are compared. And ozone monitoring has been the oldest one, and the diurnal variation of ozone in Delhi in all the seasons and how it compares with other cities of. Uh, uh, India, particularly uh, Delhi, uh, Pantanagar uh, will be the most interesting site, almost follows uh, uh, Delhi is concentration increase. And these are some of the uh, new insight and studies uh, have been brought out by uh, the MOS institutions in the recent past. And uh, during um, COVID, also uh, several studies have been carried out. Tropospheric ozone has not decreased during COVID-19 uh, lockdown. So this is a uh, additional finding, as you have seen that local emissions of solid waste and ammonia has not changed, and that is contributing uh, to the generation of tropospheric ozone. Uh, and fire counts inclusion and their impacts on the concentration increase of pollutants over Delhi has been um, studied in detail and that's how the decision support system uh, in, is developed and the air quality predictions after the incorporation of uh, fire counts and biomass burning in Punjab and the Pakistan uh, during the winter uh, is uh, included in the model and improvement in the peak concentrations episodes uh, have been captured by this model. It is very clearly uh, established that uh, Punjab uh, uh, biomass burning from the Punjab contributes more to uh, the PM 2.5 contribution concentration increase and 12% comes from equally comes from Pakistan and uh, Haryana and uh, minor other contributions are there from Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir and Rajasthan and if you see other institution apart from the air quality and water quality related issues are uh, studied by the National Center for Coastal Research they have an operational uh, um, sea water quality monitoring system for last 25 years and there is a clear web server and services are offered and a clean coast app is also available now apart from the air quality a lot of advanced work for water quality uh, coastal water quality is done uh, by the national center for coastal research and there is a uh, scheme of uh, implementing water quality boys uh, uh, along the Indian coast under the current program and they have a prediction system of water quality, coastal water quality and uh, associated uh, um, algal blooms uh, in the coastal area and coastal water quality index just like air quality index is also uh, generated by them and coastal clean services under the name of this scheme uh, the services are operated by National Center for Coastal Research. You can clearly see uh, these thunderstorms are also contributing to uh, 
the increase in the concentrations of nitrous oxide and the nitrogen dioxide uh, lighting generated nitro nitrogen oxide have relatively small but potentially significant impact on ground level ozone so ground level ozone increase is a great uh, area of concern to us despite uh, emission reductions uh, in the COVID time, ozone levels have not reduced. So we have understood why that is happening. And now uh, incrementally uh, increased lightning incidence is also contributing to that. So we need more understanding and more understanding of the processors, more sensors and the new sensor technologies, IOTs, etc. are going to help us. And a lot of opportunities for the Ministry of Earth Science institutions to contribute and uh, improve to the air quality management uh, of uh, Delhi and NCR region first and other major cities of India. Thank you very much. Over to Dr. Patnaik. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, if there is any question or discussion, uh, anybody? So I think let us uh, thank uh, Dr. K.J. Ramesh, sir, for a nice talk on uh, how the climate change, different this uh, AR6 simulation, how the IITM is letting lead in that thing, and also the environmental services that uh, many new during his tenure in IMD, Many new uh, initiatives were taken, made a lot of observational improvement with their instruments. So now the data, as, as uh, Dr. Ramesh Sarah already mentioned, the data are being used for uh, various publications and uh, reports. So it is a that means improvement in environmental services also uh, in IMD with uh, literacy. So we thank you, sir, for very much for your contribution and uh, also for agreeing to deliver this talk in a very short notice time. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you much, sir. Thanks, colleagues, for joining. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Bye for now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So we'll again come back with our next meeting in some time. We'll circulate that next talk. OK, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Th